The job of the family support partner is to be a voice and a choice, help the family have their voice and choice. Um, we also help them build natural resources, which are people that they will meet in the community or in their group that will still be around once the paid providers are gone. We encourage them to rebuild relationships with people from their past that may be a natural resource that they don't have. Upon meeting the family, um, this was a, a different dynamic than what I was accustomed to because we had a family that was not just one child with a disability, but she had three children with disabilities. And so this woman was very well versed in um, community supports and things like that. So going in, my, my focus was trying to get to know her and get to know each individual and see what their strengths were, what their weaknesses were, and how I could actually fit in and help. What could I do? We never felt like we had any kind of pressure on us to do things a certain way. We were very much given control over it, which was the best thing for us because, you know, we were a family and we had felt very much like we had lost control. And being able to gain control and be able to um, say, this is what we want to do. This is the goal we want for our family. And to be able to uh, have us, uh, people surrounding us and supporting us in making those goals and helping us to make those goals was very key. The FSP is also the person that will follow through with the action steps, um, make sure that the family completes their action steps. The FSP will also have an action step that she will or he will complete for the month. Um, with the team meetings, my focus was Montreal. Um, and that was because we knew that, you know, Montreal had behaviors that could really hinder what we were trying to do. We wanted to be a productive and um, an effective meeting. And so, Montreal, what do you want? Montreal wants breaks. Montreal liked to go out in the library and check out books. And so, we set it up where every 15 minutes, Montreal took a five to 10 minute break and got to do something that he wanted to do. We also set up rewards, Montreal, to get through this meeting successfully let's have a reward. He wanted snacks, so I made sure I had snacks and things like that ready for him. So um, when he needed that break, he got that break, and it was time, it was set. And when he wanted that snack, that reward at the end, I made sure that he had that ready and available. And he felt a sense of accomplishment too, that he met the goals that we set forth as well. So it was win-win. Um, this services actually helped me wrap around every service that I need. Um, this was different from what others would do because they would go home, but even Miss Romania, she could give me a phone call and we could still work after hours. No other company could do that for you. Another important part of my role was to follow up with the parents. You know, whatever um, the outcome was or the action steps that we set up in the meeting was for me to go back to the family and to follow up and encourage her and again to get in the trenches. Okay, well, were we supposed to set this up or were we supposed to, to call this person? And I just reached out to her and just reminded her and again, if I needed to get on the phone with her, let's get on the phone and get this done so that when we come back, you know, we had a fresh start, we, you know, we could find out where we were in this process and, and if we needed to develop additional action steps we could do that and not have to go back and, and do some of the things that we already supposed to had completed. And the team showed me and uh, wrapped around me and showed me that the goals, the goals that were set up were possible and we actually met our goals.